So you're shopping for a pair of gaming headphones, but there's so many on the market and you have no idea what to look for. What makes one better than the other? So today I have five tips to help you guys find a gaming headphone that fits your needs. Let's get into it. So number one is definitely comfort. If you can't wear something for a long time, it's probably not gonna be good for gaming. There's been plenty of times where I've sat down for a really long period, wanted to play a game, and I keep having to shift something around on my head because I'm not comfortable, and no one wants that. Comfort is really gonna vary a lot from person to person, but some of the things that make a big difference are the size of the pads, the clamp force of the headphone, and how light it is. And on top of that, some headphones won't offer suspension straps, and some will. All these things are really going to add up to a headphone's overall comfort. And if you don't know if one of these features is really going to help or hurt your fit, see if you have any friends that have something like a 6XX or maybe an Argon and try those on. Then you can kind of narrow down the different features that help or hurt your comfort. The next thing on my list is number two, imaging. Imaging is the ability to hear where a sound is coming from. If it's right in front of you, if it's behind you, if it's off to this side or that side, and if there's any dead zones in between. You don't want to be playing Apex Legends and hear a firefight off in this direction and not really be able to tell where it's coming from. Some headphones will image a lot better than others and there's a big difference between imaging and just the overall sound stage, which we'll get into in just a minute. A good example of a headphone with great imaging is the DT880. It may not have a suspension strap like in my first tip, but it has big soft pads and is really light and very few headphones image as well as it does. And rolling into that is soundstage, what I just mentioned a second ago. Soundstage is the size of the sound, the space that you're being put into in this auditory field. If a soundstage is extremely narrow, it's not going to be nearly as immersive in many cases. But at the same time, a less immersive soundstage may be less distracting, and it comes down to preference. Some people may prefer imaging accuracy over anything, and some people may prefer more immersion. An example of a headphone with crazy soundstage is the HD800, but a much cheaper headphone with great soundstage is the Modhouse Argon. Now this is actually a closed back headphone, not an open back one, and it provides a super immersive and deep soundstage. Not quite as good of imaging as the DT880, but still an excellent experience for gaming. And speaking of both these headphones, my next point is number four, power. Both of these headphones are really hard to power and you have to have a nice amp to drive them. Now they make an easier to power version of the 880, but generally speaking, it's good to have an amp no matter what. If you haven't seen my $100 budget amp roundup video, you should check that out. That'll be linked in the video description below. And the last thing to consider is your listening environment. Where are you gonna be gaming? Is it a big noisy building or is it a quiet bedroom? Are you in a dorm and don't wanna disturb your roommates or are you at home on a couch? If you have the ability to, it's almost always better to use an open back headphone. But if you are somewhere where you either don't wanna disturb others or need some sound isolation, you might wanna go closed back. Most closed back headphones, with the exception of Argon, aren't going to have quite as good sound stage and are usually going to weigh a little bit more. But between those five things, you should be able to pick out a pretty great gaming headphone. And using those five tips, I've picked out a few headphones that I think are some of the best bang for the buck gaming headphones on the market. That's gonna be an upcoming video, so make sure you subscribe for that. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the future. And don't forget to stick around and subscribe for more videos like this. Until the next one, guys. Peace.